There is a big job breaking out in the fish room today because I'm taking two tanks down. Well, I say two tanks, it's a box and a tank. I'm taking them down and breaking them down. I just want to reduce a bit of maintenance again. And I'm also going to be putting some fish up for sale. So in this video, I'm going to show you the fish that I'm thinking of selling and the fish that I'm definitely selling. And I'm also going to show you which tanks I'm breaking down and, and the fish that are in the tanks that I'm taking down, where I'm putting them. So we're just going to vlog our way through it, guys. So let's get right into it. So I'm just about to do a water change on this tank. So I've just basically cleaned all the glass, which actually is not a big as big a job anymore as it used to be because the little bristle nose plecos obviously help me. I am going to be moving some fish on from this tank. It's a little bit dark because obviously I've moved the light over there, but. I'm going to move the pair of angels on, the breeding pair of angels. I'm going to move the young angels on. So they're going to be going, going to be selling them. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get go and get the hose in and start emptying because I am obviously on a time critical. I've got a couple of days to get all my water changes done this week. So let me go and get the python going and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I just emptied the water and I'm now currently emptying another tank. So I thought I'd come and sit down and tell you a bit more about why what I said is going going so yeah the young angels were always going to go I bred them just for a bit of fun you know I never used to I've never ever I think only once before actually ever bred anything that's not a wild type angel so I saw these at the auction back in March and you know what they were really interesting they were a decent size so I thought I'd have a go with them they're a lovely pair and if someone when someone takes them, they'll probably breed these a lot more than I have because, as you know, I never really pull a lot and, you know, these are a fish that will probably sell, but more often than not, I breed just for the, the fun and the, the effort and the achievement, if that makes sense, and then I'd more often, like I said, don't breed, I don't grow a lot on. So, yeah, so anyway, these two are going, the angel babies are going, and in this tank, that's it. Nothing else is going. These Tetras are absolute belters. These are such big Tetras. And just a note, I know, Gil, you said, obviously, when my Oplo catfish get bigger, they'll probably eat these, these big Tetras. But, you know, when I had my last pair, my common pair, I don't know if you remember them, they, that, they were fully grown and they didn't eat the Tetras in that tank. So, yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. So, probably what I'll do with, there you are, look at that, you can see the back end of one when these get bigger anyway i'll probably throw them in the waru tank because it's bigger for them so i don't want to be losing these tetras anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about fish that i am moving on and i'm moving a few on guys let's go and have a look in the other tanks so um, this is the other one i'm doing a water change on today this is my waru stroke on doran red point tank and there is some fish that i'm going to be getting rid of in this tank as well so firstly we are going to move these waru on. So these four waru, they're all hiding because obviously I've just done a bit of a clean on top of the sand. But there is four decent sized waru in there that are going to be going. I've grown these out from quite small as you know. But we've got the other two big ones so I'm, I'm, everything's hiding in this tank guys which is typical. But yeah the four waru are going and this big L95 Pleco. So I've had this a couple of years and it's probably put two inches on in that time, but it, it's just an absolute huge fish. Let me see if I can get a better, let's see if we can get a better look from the side. Let me just zoom you in. Okay, I'm getting all my camera stuck against the tank and everything. So this, let me shut this door because it's noisy. Right, it's got rid of a bit of the glare as well, hasn't it? So. This L95 is a foot long, so he is 12 inches long. He is absolutely massive. Now, this tank he's in is only 18 inches wide. I do have a 20 inch wide tank, but I think he needs to go in a bigger tank. And I was always planning on wanting to get in a bigger tank, and I'm not going to be doing that now. So I think I need to be moving him on. The only thing with this guy is, he is going to be expensive because these are an expensive fish. You never get nowhere near as much when you're private selling. This is 12 inch and when I bought it two years ago, it cost me £300. And, you know, I've laughed since with Glenn at Lee Valley Aquatics that I, 
I got a steal at £300 for this fish when I bought it. So, obviously, I don't want anything near that. I'm, I am willing to take offers. And there's a couple of people who have reached out to me saying they're interested in it. But obviously, a fish of this calibre at the price it's at, it, it, you know, it doesn't sell very easy. And I need to get some money back on it because I paid decent money for it. So, I'm not going to let it go for next to nothing. But I am going to expect a decent amount back for it, if that makes sense. So... Yeah, he's going to be gone. And I do love this fish. Absolute belting fish. You know, when this is swimming about, which obviously it isn't now, and I would love to show you that. But I have done many, many videos of this fish swimming about. It's absolutely, it's unreal, honestly. But it's big. It's a big fish. It's still probably got a couple more inches left in it. There is an L27 Pleco in this tank. Is it under there somewhere? I don't know where it is, but that's staying. I'm going to keep that. Um, but that's going so yeah like I say I've had a couple of people interested I won't ship it guys I've been asked to ship it I don't ship fish it's not it's not worth it it's too much hassle for me getting to the post office and stuff I, I can't do that with my job so yeah but anyway that's something else that's going to be going up for sale all my fish will be going up for sale on aquarium classified probably but if anybody's interested in anything that I show you in today's video just reach out to me you can reach out to me here on you can reach out to me on most social media platforms big fish lad so yeah anyway what else are we getting rid of so there is fish for sale in this tank too and potentially quite a few if i'm honest so definitely for sale and my three wood cats now i've just took the sponges out of here so sponges are going to be getting washed i've just took the sponges out so it's an absolute mess. Now I've got three wood cats. I think, right, is it the males that have the longer dorsal fin? I think I've got two males and possibly one female. I think that may be the female there. And then the other two are males. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I, I just In my head, I'm thinking it's the males that have the longer dorsal fin. They're for sale. This L167 is for sale somebody is interested in that that's a weber eye pleco i've had that for ages i was probably half that size when i bought it and then potentially and i say potentially because i'm not sure whether to do it or not the big true parrot and the aquadins could be for sale as well now with the big true parrot i did mention that that glare there is not in the right place I did mention that I did suffer from some lateral line erosion being honest and up front. He is a lot better now than he was, but I did have that with him. So I may have to keep him, unless somebody would want him, obviously. But look at the state of that tank, it's an absolute mess. But anyway, this video is just obviously showing you what I'm moving on. And obviously, if there's anybody, like I said before, if there's anybody watching who's interested, like I have got people interested in some of the fish, but you know, they haven't bought them yet and anyway i've not even put them for sale on the selling sites yet either because i'm just being lazy but i thought if i do this video it might kick me up the bum to do it but yeah this is this is not very good videography to be honest with you guys there's, there's glare everywhere these there's algae there's just bits everywhere from the sponges but yeah actually i thought it was the best time for me to show you the wood cats because I would never be able to show you because every time I would move the sponges, they just go and hide under him. So, yeah. I also, guys, if I'm being honest with you, I want to get to a point where I am having less wood in most of my tanks. I want to start having more rocks, if that makes sense. And it probably doesn't make sense. It's just me in my head. But, yeah. Them wood cats are stunning. I love them, honestly. I've had them for... A, so, I've had two of them for quite a while. I've had two of them since they were probably couple of inches in size they've grown really well and like i said that l167 there behind the rock that's doubled in size since i've had it so yeah that's the fish in that tank that i'm going to be moving on this is mad glare this is november and the sun is shining through honestly it's doing the plants the world are good but i need the door open so i just wanted to grab this quickly so I am going to move on the two Balzini that I've got left. So I did lose the big male and I've got two 
potential females, I think they probably are females, that I'm going to move on. I can't be bothered with the changing of the temperatures. I just can't. I was going to do it, but do you know what? I'm just not. And when I lost the male, it's like, it's put me off. So I'm just going to get rid of him to someone who, you know, will do that. I mean, the irony is with that, though, I need to say this. So I've had a few people come on my comments, give me a bit of stick. Doesn't that look good in the natural sunlight? Give me a bit of stick about keeping them in the same tank as these fish and they need this, they need that. I get it, I get it. But I've also spoke to a lot of people here in the UK that have said when they've done that, they've actually lost them. So probably, and I don't know this, I'm no expert, but is that probably down to, you know, if these, if these fish have been bred and bred in the UK in tanks of this temperature then have they become accustomed so when we do actually move them because I don't know the history of them but anyway that's just that's another video isn't it but I'm also going to be getting rid of the two Balzini as well one of the things I'm going to do today is I'm going to break this plant a tank down so I'm going to move the plants into another tank and the fish that are in here into another tank so we have the better chinoides in here and we have the pygmy corridorus and there's a load of bladder snails as well so i just want to break this tank down because i have room for other, other for, for the fish for other tanks i just don't want to be bothering with this tank anymore it's it's in an awkward position i could do with this back as storage because it's on my my rack and I'd need some more stories now I've got the plants in the other corner so I'm going to break this down what I'll do is I'm going to go away and break it down then what I'm probably going to do is put the plants into the other the little cube tank that I've got and use root tabs so yeah and then I'll be selling this tank I'll be moving it on so it just needs a good clean up and it's actually not a bad tank to be honest with you and I have, I've actually got an internal filter for it as well which I can throw in there so yeah this is going to be going so that's one of today's jobs I've taken all my plants out and I've just noticed there's my there is my test kit and I wondered where that had gone I've not even noticed that because of all the plants and the spot and it's obviously fell down the back and anyway I'm moving this tank so I've moved the chinoides out, they've gone, and now there is just, see if we can see any from above, there is just now the little pygmy corridorus. Now, I cannot see any. The, I've, I've left that val in there, it's probably, they're probably behind that val. But yeah, they're in here somewhere, there's a few in here and all. Oh, there's there a load in that corner there, can you see them? So I'm gonna get them out. Do you know what I've done? I've whacked my head on this about four times trying to get in here. I'll be so glad when this tank's gone. So yeah, I'm going to be selling this, guys. But anyway, let's get the water out. Let's get the pygmy corridors out first, obviously. So I am making life hard for myself by just using the bucket and the jug. When I could just go out and get me a little mini python. But it's not a big tank, so... It's actually not a big job, so this is how I've done it. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get it quite low. Get it quite low, and then I'm going to pull the tank out, and then remove the pygmy corridors. Tank is out. Actually, the tank's out there. I need to... I'm calling it a day. I've been at it quite a lot today, so I'll go out tomorrow uh, and finish it off. But the tank's out, so I'll put my radiator in there for now. See how that copes in there, it might be a bit blocked. And all the plants are in here with the Cribro Harris. So yeah, that actually looks all right that, doesn't it? But I don't know what to do with these plants because like I said before, I'm hoping to put the endless in this tank. So I might just plant the plants in here with root tabs. But like I said before, it's been a long day and I will resume with what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm gonna go and chill out for a bit. Can we just, take a look at these endless they are absolutely stunning come on how nice are these and i tell you what i've got a whole lot more than i had when i started having a such a beautiful the males are little stunners honestly how nice are they 
Really, really impressive. And you know, who would have ever thought that I would be keeping Endless, eh? But this was just for a bit of fun. I need to probably move some on. But they're a very nice end. Then look at that mail there. Look at that. These are lovely. So we've now removed the tub that was down there. We've got the Endless in there. I have put the Cribro Harris in with the Geophagus. And we have obviously got rid of that tank down there. So the beauty is I have got rid of two tanks in the fish room. And I didn't need them running, guys. So that's the, you know, the thing with this is I didn't need them running. So it was well worth doing. Don't know, I've had a pretty good clean up in here today. So I'm happy that I've created some room. It just feels tidier. Um, plants are taking over the fish room, as I've said before. We've got them everywhere. But yeah, I'm happy that, you know, I've reduced maintenance again by two tanks. And I do this, guys, as you know, I do this. I get periods of time in the year where I want to reduce the workload. And do you know what? Come spring, maybe, I might put another box or tank down there and maybe one down there. But right now, I'm really happy with what I've done. And we've consolidated some of the tanks. And actually, let me just turn the light on on this tank. It's actually really nice to just enjoy these endless for a bit. So, yeah, th honestly, they're really good. Anyway, that's, you know, we'll be able to see where, uh, let's see if we can see the Cribro Harris in here. They're in there somewhere. They're obviously hiding, but because I've only put them in like this morning. So, yeah, that should be fine because the Geophagus, hopefully the Geophagus Stein Dachner Dac I will be okay with them. But anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, Big job breaking out, that's how I started the video. I'm quite happy with what I've done, it feels good. And that's it guys, we're gonna wrap this video up now. So loads happening in the fish room and I like to keep myself busy. So I think I'm not the kind of fish keeper that just sits and looks at fish. I have to always be doing something. I have to have a project on. I have to be moving fish about, I have to be moving fish on. That's just who I am and that's the bit I enjoy the most, I think, guys, traveling around the fish shops, you know. And I really love doing these vloggy type videos at the moment. But yeah, we will be putting those fish up for sale. If there is anybody that is interested in any of them, feel free to contact me and we can sort something out. Obviously, I look after my subscribers wherever I can. And yeah, and I just feel better for making those changes right now. And I did say before, Come spring, I could set them back up again. You never know what's going to happen with me. But anyway, guys, I want to say a massive thank you as always. I appreciate all your support and I appreciate everybody that subscribes, likes, comments and even dislikes because it all helps me. Anyway, guys, if you're not subscribed as well, consider subscribing. It does, you know, it's free of charge. It's just a press of the button and a ping of the bell. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day and I'll see you all on the next one.